This work is motivated by drones, which have the potential for an enormous impact in numerous industries, ranging from infrastructure inspection, search and rescue, package delivery, and even atmospheric measurements. In each of these applications, drones must be able to perform reliably in real-world weather conditions, including extreme wind. This is no easy task. Just watch this video where a consumer drone struggles to maintain its position during a windy day at the beach. It might surprise you that modern drones don't actually sense the wind. Common techniques such as pitot tubes, hot wires, or ultrasonic anemometers are too slow, fragile, or bulky for integration on a UAV platform. Drones need a new flow sensor, and one that is omnidirectional, meaning that it can sense the wind from any direction. Our hypothesis is that the ability to directly measure airflow will lead to significant improvements in UAV performance. To address this, we designed MAST, or the MEMS Anemometry Sensing Tower. MAST is lightweight, accurate, and omnidirectional, a flow sensor that uses five MEMS or microelectromechanical hot wire sensing elements to estimate the wind. By integrating the MAST onto a quadrator UAV, we create FlowDrone, an experimental platform for wind aware control. The key behind MAST is the MEMS hot wire, which uses microscale platinum wires. The wind flows through a small window, cooling some of the wires. We can measure that cooling effect and use it to estimate the wind. The main advantage of the MEMS hot wire is its microscale size, which makes it fast, lightweight, and inexpensive. MAST uses five MEMS hot wires arranged in a pentagon, and each hot wire signal depends on the wind. Before we put MAST onto a drone, we want to know how accurate it is. From a wind tunnel study, we determined that MAST can determine the wind direction within 1.6 degrees and the wind speed within 0.14 meters per second. We flew flow drone with the MAST on top in artificial gusts generated by six high power blower fans. However, we still wanted to design FlowDrone to automatically react to gusts. To do this, we used reinforcement learning to train our wind aware controller, over 10 million simulation time steps in simulated gusts. We used the Jim Pybullet drone simulation environment. We added gusts to the simulator as well as drag forces acting on the drone. Wind aware learns to use mass to fly in gusts, but does it work in real life? To test FlowDrone, we hit it with a 5 meter per second gust generated by our fans. FlowDrone's goal is to hover in place. We compared our window wear controller to two baseline controllers and flew 10 flights each. In the next video, the window wear control or our approach is the most opaque. As you can see here, window wear is able to stay in the hover position better than the baselines. The window wear controller in blue deviates the least due to the gust, which acts in the upward direction. On the right, we show that window wear reduces error over the course of 30 flights. In conclusion, I would like to thank my advisors, Ani and Marcus, my co-authors, and to acknowledge our funding sources. My name is Nate Simon, and if you would like to learn more about our project, please shoot me an email or check out my website. Thank you so much.